Okay, all right. Hey guys, what's up? How are you? Good morning. Today I have lined up in Merima Playground. See those houses up there? Just beneath the white lot. Those are part of Merima. And I think it's known as Chakulha. Okay, let's explore this area. Oh, we see Kohima over there. That's Kohima, the city capital of Nagaland. Wow, they've got a hut for all the cows. There are six cows in Merima. So, one hut meant for one cow. This is the monolith just inaugurated last year or the year before by our honorable CM. Mr. Nifi Rio. Okay, all right. We can see the new high court of the state over there, right over there. That's the one. Yep. Now the trees, the trees. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. What's that? Yeah, that's the one. Right over there. That's uh, newly constructed. Yet to be inaugurated, I suppose. High court, just over there, just in front of you. And as we roll the camera a bit towards the left, you can see some beautiful houses too. Okay, let's roll the camera towards the left. A bit faster. Yo, you can see the part of Merima, and those are the Huts meant for each kill here as I was saying there are six kills here in our village and that's part of the Merima and this is the ground actually playground of Merima the Sun is building up there let's go near to the hut and see in details yo guys this is a uh, Tino Tino means kill and this is Hyapvatinyo, that's my kale, I belong to this community, and this is Keritu Tinyo, Tinyo means uh, plants, and Kesho Tinyo, Hosa Tinyo, Hurutu Tinyo, these are the huts representing each plants. Now ladies and gentlemen, you see the buildings over there, down there. These buildings belong to the Nagaland University. And that's the high court. Let me see whether I can show you a bit clearer. Clarity with some clarity. Yup, that's the one over there. Yeah, that's the one. That's State High Court. Yet to be inaugurated, I guess. There's a farmhouse. It's a quite a beautiful place over there. I was there once in person. I saw the place. It was quite stunning. These are university buildings belonging to the Nagaland University. Let's zoom out. All in all, that's how it looks. Sun is building that side. So I think clarity wouldn't be there. But however, this is our village playground. Playground of Merima village. Those are all part of Merima. University is there. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the restaurant of Merima Playground. That is my village playground. This is the restaurant. If you have taken a look, let's this way and let's see what what is visible. The high court area 
is that side now coming back to the restroom only cloudy day nothing much is visible clearly part of new secretariat is visible not very clearly over there I keep referring to this village there is a village by the name of Rosuma the older name was Rokroma but they changed it into Rosoma because Rokroma means below under so since they are on a hilltop probably the explanation is that they live on the top of the hill why should they be known as Rokroma or in other words down under so they rename it as Rosoma and uh, during those Rukroma days when the village was still known as Rukroma there is a legendary story there used to be a lady by the name of Sofnyo she was married to one from Pumai or we call it not exactly Pumai but we call it um, Sotsumia or something like that I don't recall that name though it's just on the tip of my tongue I couldn't recall it properly now what the plan is okay let's walk towards that that's it going my side and explore I'll do a little bit of exploration while I narrate you this story this legendary story there's a Sofnyo was married to one from the tribe of uh, Sof Ma, Sofmiya we call it uh, and uh, the hubby, the husband, had some lovers and at the stroke of midnight past came home and asked Sofnyo to leave and vacate the place so she had a child so at midnight she got herself ready. This was 100 years back, this story gets back to. So he started walking for home. And she had a flap just to see her way, carrying her child and her basket on her head in the back. She was just returning back home. Then the villagers, they were watching where she is proceeding by seeing the flame she's carrying that, that torch it's a flame in the form of a torch they were watching then in the distance on a hill a flame just vanished so after many years Sofnyo's parents went to visit and to inquire how she and her family is doing now the relatives of Sofnyo were told that Sofnyo left for home a long time back so the relatives of Sofnyo were quite surprised to hear the story since Sofnyo never came back home they were taken to the place where the flame of a torch went off and by the way remember she was carrying an infant child with her that's part of Koima and this is back side of IG Stadium you can see the floodlights of the IG Stadium right over there now let me just complete my story as I show you the views and now when they reach the spot from her subvenues torch flame went off they found two stones one big and another one small so they reached the conclusion that this must be the stone of Tsepfanyo by the way the bamboo stick which she used a live fresh bamboo stick to assist her walking was found to be growing upside down the spot for where the stones were lying 
now the tray pulling the stone the bigger one first don't move and the wind started howling so they thought no the child will means the smaller stone needs to be pulled first so they pulled and bore it up to their village it's not clearly visible because of the sunlight that's Rosoma during certain days it used to be known as Rukroma now it is Rosoma I think it's somewhere over there it's not visible very clearly because the sun is on its side now to this days when the visitors go and move the stones the wind start howling it become very windy that's the legendary story from Rosoma that's the village over there and I think uh, there's another village over there known as Tizama we call it Sajima Sajime it's Tizama I think a yeah, white spot can be seen that's the one I think yeah just on top of the hill there's a white thing over there that's one I think and incidentally the Fort Anapi battalion is also stationed around that jurisdiction and Tokema I don't know it's somewhere there near Hema Tokema is that site I believe no or is that Tokema I'm quite confused Tizama must be this site I suppose I'm not sure that site Chekhasan Chazuba Pachero and you know that uh, okay some other time let's go to Pachero Chazuba so and so forth I plan to visit uh, for five days Mokjong for two days Dimapur for seven days for the purpose of video vlogging for you guys let's go in, in the distance it's still sleepy it's quite dark still yeah that's part of Kohima lower Bayeva Bayeva is up there this side on the left side I think part of Barabosi Peak Hill area probably I assume Yup, guys, we can see the Pentecostal Church of Merima village very clearly from here, from a distance. Let's go closer and take a close-up view. Yup, that's the Pentecostal Church of Merima village. Yeah, as you can see, that's the Pentecostal Church Merima village. Seven West Virginia, Blue Ranch Mountain, Shenandoah River. Life is older, older than the trees, younger than the mountain, blowing like a breeze. Country roads take me home to the place I belong. Was Virginia Mountain Mama Take me home Country Road Okay, I'm almost home So guys, actually I'm constructing this Thatch Thatch or thatch For my chickens I'm gonna rear chickens And start selling them And make a lot of money this is a pumpkin growing over here. The earlier, the previous one, you have eaten it. And this has squash growing very well. This is it, didn't bear much. Oh, so many vehicles just in front of my house. So, um, let me do my conclusion here, friends. Thanks for watching. And I, as I always say, keep it simple. Take care. Stay safe. And God bless. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye for now.